Well, actually, raped. he's not in prison for that. He didn't. Warren Jeff didn't marry underage girls. No, he, he's in. He's in prison for facilitation of child rape. Whatever the hell that means. That means he's that in prison. he's in prison because that, he's weird and unpopular, no. and he has a different <laughs> lifestyle that other people find creepy. No, he's an accessory to the rape of children. That is a felony and a serious one at that. A f what do you mean an accessory? He's like got some weird religious cult where he thinks it's okay to you know marry underage girls. But he didn't do it. Why wouldn't the guy who actually did it, who had sex with an underage girl, he should be the one who's doing what? life. The, ra the, the rapist in this case has made a lifelong commitment to live and take care of the person. So I... it is a little different. I mean, let's just be honest That's about it. Yeah. He's not accused of touching anybody. He is accused of facilitating a marriage between a 16-year-old girl and a 27-year-old man. But That's the accusation. That's what they're calling felony I know, rape. But in, tough, in our state, that's bullshit. But I'm tough, sorry. Now, this, tough, this guy may be a total tough, rape, tough, maybe a child rape, but death. I'm just telling you I that arranging a marriage between a 16-year-old and a 27-year-old is not the same as pulling a stranger off the street and but, raping her. That's but, bullshit. But, you, you know, in my brief experience, you know what gets women going is arguing with them. Really? Yeah. I did not, Brand, I never use them. It's true. You debate politics with a woman and just go, you know, just full-blown out there, especially feminism. If you're talking to a feminist, and she's giving you, you know, well, you know, men really need to be more sensitive. And this, you know, actually, men don't need to be more sensitive. You just need to be quiet and kind of do what you're told. And lighten up a little bit, bitch. They love it. Alexis Stewart, we run into her all the time. <clears throat> she seems like a, she seems Cunt. awful. Yeah, they're, she is they're awful. Very, they're very cunty. She seems extremely I like cunty. to hear that word out of, oh, yeah, I just I stepped over me. She seems, what? Now, go ahead. She just does seem a little cunty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you said it. I'm just agreeing with you. I, I don't use that word. Cause right. I'd love for Tucker Carlson. Tonight on MSNBC, a girl that comes across kind of cunty. Well, That's she right. does. I mean, I heard her. I, I mean, I now I'm a Brent fan, so, okay, I'm stating my bias right out front here. But I heard her on with him, and I just wanted to give her the spanking she said. I actually want. When she's laying her head in your bed at night, you know who the hell's in her bedroom and what they're doing. Nobody. Just her. Well, when she's in a dormitory type setting and these little girls start experimenting around, next thing you know, you know, you got a lesbian on your hands. I don't think I don't think that's likely. <laughs> next thing you know, Bob. Next thing you know, Brad, what's going on in the comb dormitory? <laughs> nothing. I don't got a PSP to play, I ain't got nothing going on, I ain't got my mom and dad here to tell me that I they love me and the tech men tuck me in bed. So here's Trixie and she wants to explore my body a little bit, so hey, let's go crazy. Wow. That, if You're it weren't sicko. my daughter, that's I'd one theory. that. Well, I mean, it's a, I, 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 just, I just can't, and I, I, I just think that's pretty unlikely. Can you yeah, tell them, as outlandish as that is, how old is your daughter? Fourteen. Well, I love women, but they're extremely primitive. They're basic. They're not that hard to understand. Putting Paris and Brittany in a commercial with Obama is classic old school miscegenation, old South. Uncle Tom. Old, it's old South. <laughs> these, two, these two young white girls are going to be so da dating a black man. So they're trying to say that he's coming for your pristine white no, daughter no, no, by so, putting so, two of the biggest so, white so, whores in America? So, you want to fuck Sarah Palin. You well, talk there's that. There is that. I'll agree with that. I feel sorry for unattractive women. I mean, there's nothing they did, you know? <laughs> What's better than hockey, weed, and whores? I mean... But you know, first of all, there's no Canadian woman that you'd, you'd want to pay to sleep with. Well, uh, Anybody who answers my trophy wife is my favorite possession is my hero. I don't give a shit. I'm voting for the guy.